Now in the final part, part C, let's just mark it in, we've got to find the area of the logo. And to do that, we'll just add the area of the sector that we found in part A, 39.6 centimetres squares, and then we've got to add together the area of these two triangles, ADC and ABD. They're both exactly the same. Now, to find the area of a triangle when you know two sides and an included angle, and we do know that included angle in there, let's just mark it in, we found out from the previous part that it was 2.04 radians to 3SF. I'll mark in 2.0415 though, radians, just so that we do not round, take the rounded up answer. Now you should know then to, for how to find the area of a triangle, given two sides and the included angle. It's a half the product of the two sides times the sine and the included angle. So we've got everything we need to get the total area. So I'm just going to go straight in and say that the area of the logo equals the area of the sector, which is 39.6. And then we've got plus 2 times the area of these triangles, A, C, D, okay, and A, B, D. They're both the same, so we said that would be half the product of the two sides, so that would be 4 times 6 times the sine of the included angle. And the included angle is 2.0415 and so on, radians. I'll put a little C there for radians. Now because we're working in radians here and we're taking a trigonometric function, in this case sine, we need to make sure your calculator is in radians mode. So make sure you get it in radians mode, work this out on your calculator, and what you should find that you get is 60.9889 and so on. And if we round this to the accuracy that was asked for, the nearest centimeter square, this will be 61 centimetre squares. So just put in brackets to the nearest centimetre square. OK, a nice, fairly straightforward question there then. And that brings us now to the end of it.